Please ignore the fact that I'm acting like a little kid on Christmas, because for me, I was a little kid on Christmas. Thank you. It's finally here. <laughs> Let's open it up. Uh, can use a broken drumstick for this. I can lie, this is gonna be a quick unboxing video, simply because I wanna play with this gear a heck of a lot more than I wanna make a video about it right now. This is the prize package winnings from the Crosstalk uh, contest. So, ooh, starting off first, we've got the Dream Machine Pro. I'm gonna set that right here. Next up, We've got a Flex HD. I just deployed one of these for the first time the other day. So it's gonna be fun to be able to play around with. Let's come over for this. We got the Nano HD. Essentially the same access point, just different form factors. Oh, we've got the Big Daddy, the G4 Pro. This camera is ridiculously overkill for anything I could use it for. The G3 Flex, heck yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. This is probably gonna be the camera that I'm gonna use though because that's just a monster. And last but not least, we have the 16 port PoE switch. This is the USW 16 PoE. This is a lot of toys. I'm gonna have fun today. <laughs> Yay! Gosh, what do I want to unbox? These guys are gonna get their own videos. So, I'll pull this stuff out. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna make a video talking about the security cameras and Unify Protect in general. So, I'm just gonna unbox these guys right now. Where's my drumstick? can't tell by how fast this is falling. This guy weighs a good bit. Like a really good bit, like a lot. This thing's heavy. Guys, I am so happy about this thing. I don't know what I'm gonna do, because I already have a Unify controller set up at my house, so I don't know how I'm gonna utilize stuff like the Dream Machine. And I already have a 24 port switch. <laughs> with full PoE, so I don't know how I'm gonna use the switch. Honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna take advantage of any of this stuff, but I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out. All right, so that was the UVC G4 Pro. Now let's pop out the Flex. Oh, this thing's tiny. Okay, so it's got a similar mounting mechanism to the um, to the, the the Flex HD, where it's just got you know your port right here, and then it's got a, a flap that kind of covers it. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't installed many Unify Protect setups. Um, when I do, I use the G3 bullets, but I've been switching over to using Synology stuff because I used to deploy a lot of Unify video, but we all know kind of what happened to that. But look at this. Okay, hang on. Let's compare this to the G4 Pro. Oh my gosh. This thing is like all plastic and this guy is metal. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I could drum with this. Use this as like, you know, my makeshift cowbell and it'd be fine. Yeah, not a, not a mark. What the heck? This thing is massive and this guy's tiny. Screw it, why not? Let's just unbox the rest of it all. The Switch and the, and the, the Dream Machine are gonna be a separate video, so. Let's take out the Flex HD. I've already seen the Flex HD. I just deployed a couple. Uh, well, I deployed one and I'm about to deploy another handful of them. 
Yeah, so you've got the Flex HD and your uh, active PoE injector. I don't call it like 802.3. I just call it smart PoE and dumb PoE because the dumb PoE will fry your computer if you plug it in and the active PoE won't. So that's really what I just call them. Because really, active PoE is active PoE. Unless you're talking really high power draw stuff, which I don't really ever talk about. So, yeah. Yeah, so you've got the this nice cylinder access point with, again, that similar mounting mechanism to that um, to the, the G3 camera here, the G3 Flex, except for the G3 Flex. Oh, uh -huh. The G3 Flex screws in and has screw holes, whereas, I don't know if you can see that, it's got screw holes there, whereas the plate for the... Flex HD does not have those screw holes, but I something tells me that these guys might be interchangeable. And they are. So if I wanted to mount this guy to a wall or something, I could do that. And if I wanted to have this guy desktop mounted, I could do that. They're both just gonna sit upstairs on my desk. This guy's such a cool access point. I was really impressed with its performance because I did a bunch of throughput testing and stuff, uh, essentially through the Unify app all over the house with just like this one access point because I was trying to figure out kind of what this guy can do and what it can't do and I was really surprised and impressed with something that's this nice looking it's got an RGB ring at the top and just how well it performs in such a diminutive form factor I mean this guy's tiny all right let's pop out the Nano HD I've actually never deployed a Nano HD access point I typically only deploy the pros uh, the lights, although I hate the lights, um, I really only like deploy those in really small areas. I typically always use the pros and occasionally the LRs, but I only use the LRs if I need to punch through a wall or if they're already there for me. Wow. Whoa, this is. This is, okay. That's metal. That's metal. That's not plastic. There. That's plastic. This feels like... Yeah, this feels like someone took the APAC light and just upgraded it. This thing's tiny. Yeah, so you got your single Ethernet port and your little flappy flap. Inside the box, you've got some quick start stuff, a mounting uh, plate for in drop ceilings, and your PoE injector. One of the things that I would like to see Ubiquity do, though, in the future, Ubiquity, I love you. Thank you guys for sponsoring this contest, though. Thank you for sending me all this stuff. I very much appreciate it. You did not have to do that, but I'm so happy you did because I love your stuff. But um, if you happen to see this video, Ubiquity, please, if you would, include a short patch cable in with your access point. Anywhere you include a PoE injector, please include a short jumper cable. That'd be really nice, because typically, you know, you run your cable to the access point, and then you just, you know, if I'm deploying one of these, I'm just gonna use the PoE injector. So I'll go cable to this guy, then the PoE injector, and I just need to get it that extra, like, two inches to the network switch. A patch cable would be greatly appreciated. I have a very, very specific question that I have about the Dream Machine Pro. Essentially the question that I have is, can you really only use a cloud account with it? I wanna find a way to set up a local account because I'm not gonna deploy this for a business where potentially they might have another IT guy and if that IT guy comes in, he needs to know my single sign-on stuff, which I'm not gonna tell him. There's not a snowball's chance in hell I'm gonna give out my single sign-on information. Um, but so then he won't, wouldn't be able to manage this or do anything with it unless he formatted it. So. That's the whole goal, is trying to figure out a way for multiple people to be able to manage these guys. Because like, I don't mind it only having like a single Unify um, site in it. Ooh, this guy's heavy. Woo! All right, we're just gonna gently peel back this. Oh, 
It's not my fault. This is Ubiquity's fault. They put it backwards. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that'll be all for this video. Thank you all for watching my unboxing video of the prize package that Ubiquity sent over. Thank you, Ubiquity for sending me all of these toys. And that's exactly what they are to a nerd like me, toys. And also a big shout out to Chris over at Crosstalk Solutions. I mean, that's probably how you all found out about me, let's be real. But uh, thank you for hosting this contest, Chris. Uh, thank you, Ubiquity, for providing all of these prizes and for giving me something to do today other than homework. <laughs> See ya.